I have an amazing personality joining me in the studio to talk about the launch of her book, Concise Law of Banking. I'm talking about none other than the Vice President of the Women's Forum, Ghana Bar Association, Senior Consultant of ALC Law Consult, a law firm here in Accra. She's the Executive Director of Institute for Law and Development, and she's also the President of Hope Agape Ministry. Reverend Mrs. Nana Kija Apia Edu. Wow. Good morning. Good morning, Caleb. It's refreshing to have you in our studio Thank this you morning. Very much, Caleb. Interesting. So, how do you do all this? Vice President, Women's Forum, Ghana Bar Association, Senior Consultant, ALC, Executive Director, President of Hope Agape. Who is Reverend Mrs. Nana Kija Apia Edu? Okay, so I'm a lawyer by profession and I'm a minister of the gospel. So after qualifying as a lawyer, I started my legal career with the Bank of Ghana. Hmm. Initially, I worked with the Human Resource Department, and then I moved to the Legal Department. But as part of my duties, I was asked to teach banking law okay. at the Bank of Ghana Training School. Hmm. And I had, I had studied banking law at the university, okay. and I had taken elective subjects in the law of credit and security, both for the LLB and LLM. Right. And I enjoyed that very much, so I enjoyed teaching. Okay. So it was when I taught at the training school that I realized that I enjoyed teaching. You really teaching. do enjoy yes, teaching. Yes, I did. Mm. So eventually I was presented with the opportunity of taking an early retirement and taking a package. So I decided to take it and to join the Ghana School of Law as a lecturer. Right. So at the Ghana School of Law, the first year I taught law of contracts. I was asked to prepare course materials for a banking law course, which was going to be started the next year. That was in 2004. Wow. So I did that. And in 2004, I started teaching this newly introduced program. Right. And eventually, 2017, I decided to move on from the, uh, from the Ghana School of Law. Right. Yes, to focus on other things, including legal research. And I also joined ALC Law Consults okay. as a senior consultant. Right. The Institute of uh, Law and Development was established to promote uh, development in Africa through legal research and training. And this is where you are the executive director? Yes, that's where I'm the So executive. you established it? I established yeah. it. But we have team members who right. are other lawyers in Ghana. We have some lawyers in Europe okay. and some in the U.S. as well. And then you are the president of Hope Agape Ministry. Yes. So Hope Agape Ministry is a ministry that focuses on youth evangelism, okay. youth training, and youth development. So exactly. we, on Sundays, we go to the streets at Osu to minister to the drug addicts who are there. When they are ready to be rehabilitated, we take them to Rema. Okay. We do schools outreach. We go to schools to mentor the young people and encourage them in their education. We do prisons ministry as wow. well. Yes, so we do that's, many things. That's a full package. Yes. Now, let's get to the book, right? I mean, of all the areas in law, why did you decide to focus on uh, banking? Uh, and you've written this book titled Concise Law of Banking. Is it because you really enjoyed that subject when you took it as an elective? Well, I enjoyed it when I took it as an elective. Mm. I taught it at the Bank of Ghana Training School. Right. I lectured it for so many years at the Ghana School of Law. Right. And I kept on getting requests for copies of my notes mm. from students, former students, colleague lawyers. And, and so I thought, why don't I compile my notes into a book? Okay. And not just my notes, but I went further. I did more research to add... Uh, the laws of other jurisdictions. So what I did was I took the law of Ghana, mm. compared it to similar laws in other jurisdictions, right. and tried to make it as practical as possible. So wow. not, it's not just an academic book, but it's also practical for mm. anybody who wants to learn more about banking. Uh, I'm flipping through the pages. This is a 390-plus book. That's right. And the print is really good. The finish is solid. Thank Who are you. your publishers? What are some of the topics you cover in this book? Okay, so the publisher is a local one called Ace Publisher, oh. actually. And this is a company which I formed. <laughs> oh, yes, I see. Because my, my husband is a prolific writer. So Interesting. I have been publishing his books Oh, what's for his him. name? Let's celebrate him. Uh -huh, yes, Professor Kweku Apia, I do. Interesting. Yes, so okay. I have been publishing his books. But then they were produced by Amazon. So they are also available on Amazon. Wonderful. So published by Ace Publisher and printed by Amazon. Fantastic. So what are some of the topics you cover in this book? So 
as I said before, uh, banker customer relationship. Okay. It's very important. Right. And that's why I think everybody who has a bank account needs to get a book like this because okay. it makes you know your rights and responsibilities as a bank customer. Right. Very often bank customers have all kinds of challenges. They don't know where to go. Hmm. I mean, a while ago, somebody came to me. Money had been taken out of her account. She hmm. knew nothing about it. And according to her, she approached the bank and the bank said, well, they could just refund half of the money. They wouldn't. You see, but the law says that a forged or unauthorized uh, debit from a customer's account is, uh, is not operative unless the customer has been complicit mm -hmm. or the customer has been negligent. Right. So this was a case where she had not been complicit, she had not been negligent, but the bank says, well, we can't pay you back your money, we'll give you just half. Wow. So I drew her attention to that part of the law. Right. A letter was written to the bank. They paid back her money. Wow. And that is because she had advice. Right. And so, she knew her rights. That's right. She was she was instructed as to her rights. Mm. So I think everybody needs it. Money laundering. Money it's laundering. It's a very serious uh, what's it called, issue now. Yeah, chapter 14. So we deal with that, especially for corporate bodies. Right. They need to understand because... You can find yourself money laundering without even knowing that you are doing it. Right. So at least this book gives an outline. I see you have a, top, a chapter on electronic banking that as well. Right. That as well right. as checks. Yes. And then uh, bank payment cards, right. offshore banking, credit reporting, borrowing and lending and banking, documentary credits, yes. and all of that. Mm -hmm. well, this, that that's an impressive Thank you very um, much, body of work you've put Thank together. You. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you very How long much, did it Kayla. take you to put this together when you officially decided to do this? I will say it took me seven years. Wow. But you know, my problem was... I wasn't very focused initially, okay. you know. I would no, you're write making for a money while. else. I mean, <laughs> more things to do. I'll write for a while and then yes. I'll put it down. Yes. And then I'll come back. And when I came back, yes. sometimes the laws would have changed. So I... I'd have to start all over oh, again. All right. And then also I had a few health issues. I had a few eye surgeries. Right. So during that time, I couldn't do much. Right. And so it took a lot of persistence and, of course, pushing from my husband and my children. They kept on asking, Mommy, when will you finish writing your books? Nice. And here we are today. We are grateful you didn't give up. Yes, yes. Thank yes. you for doing this. So who yes. needs to get a copy of this book? So as I said before, bank mm. customers, mm. Uh, banking professionals, other professionals who deal with banking and finance, right. lawyers, students, lecturers, researchers, every educational institution must have copies of this book mm. in their library. So how can we get access to the book? Well, come how to the book launch this? tomorrow. Okay. And then after the book launch, yeah. there'll be copies of the books in most of the major right. bookstores. Legon book. Bookstore will have it, Kingdom Books and Stationery as well, right. EPP. Right. And then uh, give us a call. My okay. number will be available and then we can, we can send you one if Super. you need one. But where's the book launch though? It's going to be at the Echo Bank head office at Rich okay. tomorrow at 5.30 p.m. It's open to all of us. Oh, yes, it's open. But then please register. Okay. Yes, that's How do important. we do that? There's a link. I'll let you have it so you can share it. But Super. It's, it's shared on the internet. Very yes. good. Yes. So um, what word of advice or encouragement do you have for persons who have thought about writing books but have not gathered the courage to do so or but are, are too busy or dealing with some of life's complications? outline what you want to write okay. that is the first thing okay so for me as for example it was banking law concise law of banking i wanted banking law which focused on our laws in ghana and which uh, would also incorporate laws from other jurisdictions so right. i knew what i wanted okay right. and then something which was practical not historical theoretical no so know what you want and outline it mm. identify and access the resources that you need that's very important Okay. Right. And then identify and approach people who can assist you. Right. Along the way, I had people who assisted me. One is Mr. Ismail Adam, Bank of Ghana. He's the deputy director of the banking supervision department. When it came to bank regulation and supervision, he was able to make me understand it well. Because, you know, with these things, the law is there. But you need to find out the reason for the law. Why right. did they legislate? Why did they bring about these, uh, introduce these regulations? Yes, so he helped me very much. So you need people like that. Another was the librarian of the Ghana School of Law, Mrs. Janet Odechi Chum. She was also very helpful 
when I needed information, sometimes I could not access information. Mm. She, as a professional uh, in information, mm. she would get the information for me in no time wow. at all. So these are some of the people Wonderful. who assisted me, of course. Mrs. Sheila Minka Primo as well, a source of encouragement. She's the managing consultant of ALC Law Consult. Okay. And she's the president of the Women's Forum Ooh. of the... Uh, uh, Ghana so Association. So, yeah, people right. like that. Approach the right people okay. who can help you, give you. And then set goals. Okay. That's very important. Set goals. Start writing and give yourself timelines. Okay. 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 Be focused. And the last word of advice is never reproduce what someone else has written and pass it off as yours. Plagiarism. Yes, plagiarism. It mm. is a serious thing. Even mm. with this, before I published the book, I saw some publications where parts of my notes had been lifted. Oh, no. Yes. That's not right. I mean, without giving credit to me, I'm not talking about paraphrasing, right. but actual lifting, lifting no. and publishing. That's not so proper. that is something which must be avoided. That's but I want proper. to just encourage everybody, you have the dream of writing, start. Right. Write your goals. Right. Approach the right people. Mm. Be focused. Fantastic. Reverend Mrs. Nana Keja Apia Eju. Thank you so much thank for passing so through much. and thank, thank you for you so putting much. this book together. Thank you Wish so you much. all the best thank you so at the much. book launch and looking forward to more from you. Thank you so much. Excellent.